In this example video, we are going to look at, instead of using numbers to calculate, just terms to derive certain equations, okay? So there are two ways to go about doing questions like this. One, you could memorize the common derivations, but I feel that if you know how to use Stuva, you just need to spend a little bit more time to derive the expressions, okay? And also, there will be another bonus video where I derive all the common derivations for you, la. All right, but let's look at this question first. A cannon fires a cannonball with the initial speed of V, so V is like that, okay, at an angle of alpha to the horizontal. Which equation is correct for the maximum height reach? So in this question, I want to find the maximum height H, meaning to say my initial will be here where I launch the ball and my final will be here when the ball is at the highest position. Okay, and if maximum height, right, immediately I know Vy is zero in my stuva. Okay, let's step one, resolve so that I can fill in my x and y component for my stuva. So step one, stuva for x and y component. All right, don't panic. You know the steps one. So I'm going to build a table here. In fact, when I was a student, I do this a lot because it helps my brain organize all the information. Okay, you have X and Y component. So your S, you want to find maximum height, right? You kind of don't really have the, because your SX is here. You start from here, you end here. This is your SX. So I'm probably not going to use this. So I'm just going to cross it out. Okay. Your Y component, this is H. Here to here is sy yeah all right it's all about type i don't have time teacher don't have anxiety so many things don't have chill first chill first okay what about the initial velocity let me split this v v is in this direction right so i'm going to split this into two i will have a component pointing up because v is uh, being directed upwards like that Okay, and then I'll have a component pointing to the left. So the one that is pointing to the right. So the one that is pointing upwards will be V, no angle, sine alpha. So this is the Y component, V, sine alpha. And then the X component will be V, cos alpha. So this one will be V, cos alpha. Nice. Okay, maximum height, final velocity is zero. Okay, the rest that we can definitely fill in with or without uh, any knowledge or projectiles, the horizontal acceleration is zero and the vertical acceleration is negative g. Okay, I still take upward as positive, right here for you. Up as positive, down as negative. Okay, and of course, uh, u and v is equal to the same, la, but I don't think we'll be using x component, don't you think? We'll be using the y component. But now y component, we don't have time. So I choose an equation with no time. Step two, choose an equation. Now I have no t. So no t means I will use v square is u square plus 2as. Okay, lo. this is zero, my favorite number. U square is V sine alpha square. Plus, don't panic. 2. This is negative G. And then S is H. Okay. Touching my hip. All right. So since I'm looking for H, so I'll bring this one over. 2GH is equal to V sine alpha square. And then finally, you have H is equal to v sine alpha square over 2g. You see some strange, strange equation, you don't panic. It's just algebra. You can move things around to solve it. All right, so my answer, ladies and gentlemen, would be C. Okay, so this is the first method and we can solve it fairly quickly. The second method is to use something that you learn in your chapter one called Unit analysis, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Unit analysis. So I'm going to do some unit analysis here first. So this unit analysis, I know if this equation is going to be legit, the base SI unit must be the same. So this is what I call brute force hacking. Let's say, for example, 
you want to log into Miss Lee's email account because you want to steal the question paper. And then you know Miss Lee's email account got eight digit. You could, I guess, try all the possible variations of things I could type in. Or you could think, so that is brute force. Trial and error. Or you could type, oh, what is Miss Lee's favorite thing? Physics. So you type like you try, you try physics 888. Physics 000, because Miss Lee's favorite number is zero. So that one is called educated guess. You have a step. You go through. You go through a list. You choose the best way forward and then you execute. List down what you have. Choose something, execute. Or you could be a teacher, I, I don't know what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. No problem. So now we can do this thing called dimensional analysis. So what is dimensional analysis? Leh? So dimensional analysis means that the units must be the same. All of these are to represent distance. So whatever that's on the right, when I simplify, I should get M. Okay. So let me test this one first. Sine alpha got no unit, okay? So the unit here will be meter per second, ms negative 1, divided by ms negative 2, 2g. Can get m or not? Cannot. Wrong. Eh. Okay, option B. Here is ms negative 2, divided by v, ms negative 1. Can get m or not? Not the same as this, not the same as this. Okay, let's try C ms negative 1 but square divided by ms negative 2. This is equal to m. Yes. Try the other one. ms negative 2 square because of g. Sine alpha got no unit, 2 got no unit, okay? ms negative 1. Nope. So you can brute force this way. And then, of course, for certain people, teacher, this one is faster. Uh, yeah, la, this is faster. But, but what if you got 2? What if 2 of them simplify into m? Then you cannot find the answer with you, but this is called the Miss way of doing questions without doing the question. It's called hacking. Okay, 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 that's it for this example. I'll see you in another one. Bye bye.